If you are planning an overseas trip, maybe to Paris to see the Summer Olympics, be careful what you try to take on board with you. There may be some surprises <laughs> lurking inside all of those things. Kim DiGiulio is live at Metro Airport this morning where U.S. Customs are keeping their eyes peeled, Kim. Oh, absolutely. But yes, we have a full airport, not like last week, much better than last week. But, uh, you know, who knows? Some people could be heading to Paris. Anyone heading to Paris? Take me with you. <laughs> uh, so jealous of that. But yeah, when you think about Paris, if people are heading there for the Olympics, you think about things like the food they have there, the meats, the cheeses. Well, you got to enjoy that there because if you try to bring it back with you, well, it will be confiscated at the U.S. Customs and Border Protection. Last week, we told you about the passenger who was stopped at U.S. Customs and Border Protection with 90 giant live snails in their bag. These have been um, intercepted, cleaned, and we use them now for display purposes. So that got us thinking, what else is getting intercepted at the airport? So this is actually, it looks like uh, something we see from Africa typically. This looks like the cow skin, which is a, a, basically the outer layers of a cow, I believe, that sort of dried and cooked to some degree. But because of the possibility of bringing in animal diseases, that is a no-go. Okay, first of all, it smells. It does have a strong odor to and it. And yes. second of all, somebody had this in their suitcase. Correct. Actually, the woman who brought the snails actually had this as well. All of these items you see on this table at the agricultural lab inside of Detroit Metro have been seized just over the last week. So I've been here 20 years and almost every month there's something that makes me go, wow. Really? <laughs> I have not seen that before. And to me, that's what keeps the job entertaining. Agricultural specialist Tyler Fox also brought out a few items he had on hand that really made him go wow over the past year. So, yes, this was a dolphin skull that was found in a bag. A whole skull that a passenger apparently found washed up on the beach. But the Marine Mammal Protection Act prohibits bringing anything like this into the U.S. The skull theme continues as these monkey skulls were also taken from a passenger's bag. This is a, an endangered species of monkey, mm -hmm. so that's why these were detained and then seized by Fish and Wildlife. While these items may seem like obvious things not to pack in a bag while overseas, other illegal items may surprise you. This is a great example of that, where it's a little, a little plaque and anything like that. It's lacquered, it looks nice, but if you look carefully, you can see tiny holes in it. And when you peel back the bark, you can see all this damage here, which was made by tunneling of insect larvae. Beetles and bugs are a big reason why all of this produce gets intercepted, causing a threat to our vegetation here in the U.S. Typically, people bring things because it's so tied in with culture. It's usually for consumption or it has some personal value to them. It might be a tree that was in somebody's yard or fruit from grandma's tree, or in this case, it's an important cultural item. Tyler says, for the most part, people have the best intentions. That's why you should always declare what you're bringing back with you. If you aren't sure, let the people who know the answers decide for you so you don't end up in a situation where you are fined. And that fine, by the way, is $300. So it is always a safe bet to declare any item that you are bringing back. But uh, just some really interesting items that we saw there in that lab. Um, so certainly just piqued our interest, especially with the, the snails that were discovered last week. But by the way, if you're unsure, we have posted a link on our website about the prohibited items. If you're traveling out of the country and coming back in to make sure that you're in the clear, guys. Snails and partially cooked cow skin all in the same bag. I'm just. Is it that a little gross? Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad we didn't have smell of vision yeah, when you were I was saying the same thing. Oh my it smells. Oh, like, so strange. That, I mean, there was more that we couldn't even tell you about that kids yeah. said came up. It was just, mm -hmm. I don't want to ruin breakfast, let's put it that way. Yeah. But just wild. Be careful what you just travel yeah. with. Yeah. Exactly. Speaking wow.